race number eight is the first we look at in decisive 12. Big effort from barrier 10 last time and he draws the same gate again. Atala Big Yield carries three pounds less. He was slow out. High Rise Soldier carries three pounds more for his second career win over course and distance last time. Nemjong Sings gets a three pound claim for Jerry Chow. Four old a small like yours. He's raced wide at his last two. Does get Joe Marira back on and he's got a very good record on the horse. Nakoni County comes here having had one start in listed company in Adelaide. Now with Casper Founds more on him when uh, we get to the race analysis. Wood on fire carries six pounds less but isn't going well. Nothing new comes back in distance to the 1200 and Forte has had three starts this season for three placings. So a 1200 metre class three race here Tom. We're going to have a look at the speed map now and uh, with decisive 12 drawn 10 they've written him forward they've written him back he might have the speed to get over this week yeah he might uh, do because uh, the other pace influences in the race are diamond brilliant who's not really a leader but he likes to sit handy uh, super dobbin can sit handy as well and a uh, small like yours drawn a little awkwardly in barry number eight but he was caught wide throughout paul last night decisive 12 but he should have enough ammo here to get forward yeah, exactly. And he still stayed on really well. I thought it was a good run from him. So, yeah, I agree. I think he can go forward. Uh, Nam Jong Singh can sit midfield. Forte as well, he can uh, sort of just sit back in midfield as well. I don't think there's going to be much over the whole field. I think they'll be quite uh, quite a compact field here. Smart idea. He's drawn awkwardly, so he's going to have to probably go a bit back further than he normally likes to. He has his second start in Class 3, does a smart idea. Time for some replays now. We're going to start uh, on the 6th of February with Decisive 12 running second here. This is the performance from uh, Decisive 12. We've also got a few coming out of this race, including High Rise Soldier and What on Fire, Paul, and High Rise Soldier got his second career win. Yeah, no, he got the perfect run, didn't he, and, and finished over the top. It was a good ride here from Zach Burden. He's drawn awkwardly now, so I think he's going to find this a bit trickier. And Decisive 12, I mean, he had the hardest run, so it was a really good run from him. He's got a little bit off the boil, has uh, Decisive for 12, but he was better last start. What made the, the ride so good from Zach Purton at there aboard High Rise Soldier was there was speed out wide, but uh, Zach kicked up over on the rail in those early stages to uh, hold those other horses out, so he did a really good job to uh, get him home. He's not a prolific winner, I just wonder if he can put two back-to-back to, uh, -back wins together. And just before we get to the next replay, Paul, Wood on Fire, he's been good to you in the past, but he's just lost all form. He has, hasn't he? Look, he, that's the thing with him. Um, he, he's just sort of out of form at the moment. But look, we know he's got a good turn of foot when he's right, but we just haven't seen it for a while. All right, we move on to our next replay here, Tom, and we've got Nam Jong Sings, who runs ninth. This is the night they went forward with him. Diamond Brilliant, he too struggling for form because he was so consistent around Happy Valley and a smile like yours, there isn't much of him. No, there isn't. Uh, but it was another honest effort to, from him last to start a smile like uh, yours. Of course, they had to chase home Party Warrior here. He was wide at the rear and was running on late. Nam Jong Sings, of course, Paul, has been back to the races since and was only beaten one and a quarter behind the runner. Yeah, and they ran him a little bit um, back in that race, wasn't it? So that was probably the right way to ride him, just uh, off the pace a little bit. So, look, he's going OK at the moment. We're going to have a look at the graphics card for A Smile Like Yours here, Paul. And uh, there he is. Joe Marira has ridden uh, three wins in a placing on him this season. He combines for the first time uh, this week, first time since December, actually. Just the tricky draw put me off. I don't know where he's going to be in the run. Uh, and so, look, he, he started to get up in the weights, didn't he? And he just sort of... Sort of uh, been running OK the last three runs without um, sort of recapturing that earlier form. So I just wonder if he's reached his mountain. And uh, Joe Marira, Tom returns to Happy Valley this week and uh, here is uh, his book of rides. He kicks off with Storm Legend in the first, who was much better last time. He was. Uh, he's been a little bit hit and miss in a couple of his runs now. Uh, has uh, Storm Legend. He's got uh, Diamond Star going around in the second race, the, the long-standing maiden there for John Size Viva Hunter, Super Hong Kong, last start winner. The two jazzes there, Angel and Steed. Angel keeps missing the start uh, terribly. And then he's got Happy Jai Jai up from Class 5, a smile like yours and a strong finish with Lucky Swainess. How do you uh, see those chances for Joe Paul? Have you got many of those as your on top selection? I've got a few actually. I'm lucky um, I'm, uh, earlier on in the card, uh, there's a couple there that I quite like. So we can talk about those when we get to the previews. Tom, we're going to have a look at a Tala Big Yeal now. This is the head on from Barrier 5. He was slow out and then he got a nasty check in the straight, too. Yeah, so keep an eye on him here. He's uh, arrowed to, with the Barrier 5 and just got squeezed up. There was no real uh, room for him. Uh, Vincent Ho was riding on his uh, debut start there at Happy Valley at the day meeting. He went off it to 30 to 1 in the mark. And as we uh, see here over the final stages, he's got no clear room to uh, go with there. He's uh, run into Angels 100. He's behind Smart Idea. And he's only finished four lengths away. Zach Purton going on board, I think, is key, Paul. I think he's probably likely to get back from barrier number 12. 
Yeah, he will get back. There was a, a stewards report there as well, just um, they were just questioning some of the things with Vincent going inside instead of outside, just a, just a you know one of those spur of the moment things. So there was there was some questions there, but look, as you say, it was a really really good run from him, and I think he's going to be one of the main players. He should only get better too. He's wins in New Zealand 1300 at Ellerslie and 1400 twice also at Ellerslie in Auckland. We move on, Paul, to Forte. Three starts for David Hayes for three placings. Can he go one or two? Spots? Spots better this week. I think he can actually. The horse is going quite well at the moment for the new stable. Uh, look, as you say, he's been placed all three times, and he look he didn't have much luck from his wide draw last time. So uh, I think he's getting there, and I think uh, we, we we did see him win down the straight 1,000. So we know he's got a bit of speed. Yeah, he looked promising early on in his uh, career forte. Uh, just a five-year-old, but a uh, lightly tried five-year-old. He's clearly had his issues. He was making ground there over the, the concluding stages. Was a little bit slow out of the gates there that last start too. In the Coney County was silent theory for Troy and Leon Corstens. Only had the one start, ran second in the listed without fair stakes at Morfittville. Tom, you called this trial. What did you make of it down the straight? Yeah, well, he sort of settled uh, back after getting a little bit of a, a squeeze at the start in that uh, barrier trial. You can see uh, Zach, uh, rather, uh, Joe there, just uh, hands and heels with uh, Nakoni County over the, the final stages of this uh, trial. Of course, that's uh, Skyfield uh, there on the far side, uh, Paul, uh, closing off uh, strongly. But there was nothing wrong with this trial, but I'm just happy to watch first time around uh, Happy Valley for him. Yeah, he's 1,084 pounds. He's had those three trials as well. And yeah, Joe rode him there, and we've got Karis riding him on race day as well. So, look, I'm a bit like you. I'll just see how he goes on debut. All right, Paul, what are your top four numbers? I'm going to go with uh, Forte. I think, look, he's had three runs now for the new stable. He's been placed on all three occasions. And uh, the horse is going quite well at the moment. He, he was a little bit slow out last time, but from barrier six, he'll be able to get himself into a nice enough position. Otilla Bagheel was um, very unlucky on that debut run, as we saw. Uh, there's plenty more to come from him. He got back last time. He's drawn wide, so he'll get back once again. He's in there for second. A decisive 12, just got off the ball slightly, but a lot better run for him for second. He just has to carry these big weights all the time. That's the thing with him. And uh, look, smart idea. I've got him in for four, smart idea. He's up into class three here, and he's had that one run where he ran seventh. Didn't get all the favours there, but look, I think... From his wide uh, draw, he'll, he'll go back. I can see him running on uh, at towards the, the back for a little bit of the prize money, but only on a minor line for smart idea. 11, 3, 1 and 12. I go with the Ortuli Bagheel here on top, uh, number three. I'm not, so, not sure what sort of price he's going to come up at uh, for uh, David Hall and uh, Zach Burton. He is drawn uh, wide. He'll be back in, I think, finishing off strongly at the end, uh, provided he gets some uh, clear air. There was certainly not too much wrong with his first run, just uh, found some trouble at the start and over the, the late stages. So three Ortuli Bagheel over number one, decisive 12. As Paul mentioned, carrying the, the big weights hasn't been ideal for him, but it was certainly a better effort from him last start, despite covering ground three wide, no cover up on the, the speed. A small like Yours found a little bit of form again last start, closing off behind uh, the inform uh, party warrior Joe Marrera, John Size. And nothing new. Look, he's had a few chances, and he's been the odd uh, occasion when he's been a, a little bit unlucky and things have gone uh, against him. He's been back to the trials up at Chung Fran, was okay there, chased home Navas too last start. I think he'd be better suited coming back here uh, to uh, Happy Valley. And he drops in distance as well down to the uh, 1200 metres. He is close to a class drop. 3, 1, 7, and 10.